Tom was just about to suggest a yummy snack when suddenly, suddenly a voice was heard from inside the cupboard. It said, you want a pickle. Both Christopher and his mom were startled. They looked around the kitchen wondering who had made this delicious suggestion. Christopher's mother got up from her chair and cautiously walked over to the cabinet. Christopher followed quietly behind her. Oh, all right, so here's the thing. Every now and then I forget to show pictures. So if I forget, will someone gently remind me to just show the picture? Oh, that would be very nice. <laughs> Oh, I've got to do my whole panorama here. All right. Inside the cabinet, way up on the top shelf, was a jar of pickles. Inside, it was shaking furiously to and fro. Christopher's mom reached up and pulled the jar down, carefully placing it on the table. The jar began to shake again, and a voice came from within the jar. It said, you want a pickle. <laughs> Both Christopher and his mom were spooked by that high voice. But Christopher's mom was very brave, very brave. She had once stood between a hornet and him. She chased off a growling dog, and one night she held his hand. In the dark when the house was making those creepy noises. Christopher stared in awe as she reached out, picked up the jar, and used all of her mom muscles to open it, then put the jar on the table. Wow. Too big. Almost immediately, a large, deep green dill pickle sprang from the jar and landed on the table. The pickle was unlike any pickle they had ever seen. And most importantly, this pickle would speak. My name is Ukachuka, it proclaimed. I am the world's most perfect puckery pickle. I heard through the pickle vine that there was a wonderful boy who was craving a salty, sour snack that would make his mouth happy. And here I am. A pickle like me is rare indeed. I was born for big adventures. I even have my own superhero costume. Uka Chuka stood proudly on the rim of the pickle jar. Both Christopher and his mother stared in amazement at this beautiful and well-spoken dill pickle, who was now wearing a cape and boots, but his socks kept falling down. I think they might have been like too much pickle juice. Christopher peeked around his mother and said, did you say that you were Uka Chuka, the world's most perfectly puckery pickle? The pickle smiled his best pickle grin. Yes, I am. <coughs> Oh, Christopher couldn't help stare. He had never seen a talking pickle before. What type of adventures have you been on, Mr. Ukachuka? Ah, I was born in a vast jungle, and all around were wild animals, pythons, even giants. Christopher looked impressed. Pythons, he said with admiration. Pythons, really? Said his mom with one eyebrow raised. Can anybody do the one? Does anybody watch their mom do? That's the one. One eyebrow raised. Yep. I did. 